dresses and jewels, at least I can handle the storm. And even though there is a castle here, it looks better from the outside. Hello? Is anyone there? That's perfect. At least I can bring a rose from my beautiful Zeta. I am insult to injury, are we? Excuse me? If you thought you could steal my prize, Harshire Rose, as a token of your victory, you're a little ahead of yourself. Oh my god! What are you? Don't pretend you didn't expect the beast! The beast? Play stupid isn't get you out of your life. What's that in your hand? Oh, just some cross to sell past the time between assassination attempts. <laughs> you're one of my brothers, aren't you? Your brother has seen another creature like you. Don't be ridiculous. He's Iron Henry, of course. Everybody knows him. And he's been sending assassins like you for centuries. It's always the same. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me! You thought you could kill the beast! Great job, I just, I just getting in the way. 
You don't believe the people should speak for themselves. Rise up, as you said. Look, I, I kind of got carried away at the time, but now that I think about it, it does seem like an awful lot of work. Uh, I, I think blind opinions would serve us a lot better. So you're loyal to the princess <laughs> and to the enchanter? Incredibly, just so loyal. Do you have witnesses who can attest to your loyalty? Well, loyalty can be a hard one to prove, isn't it? But uh, if you give me a couple of minutes... Enough of this farce. You've had more than adequate time to carry a fence. Some would say 30 minutes isn't enough time. Uh, shouldn't I get a lawyer or something? Do we, do we, do we have some people? We've been found guilty of treason against the crown. Please, I'm sorry. I swear we're shooting a plea. Have mercy. You presume to deny our guilt in this court when it has been proven by trial? Well, I, I don't think anything has been uh, proven uh, per se. It just, yeah. And you beg for mercy when you deserve none. Worst of all, though, you use my name. You speak it aloud in my presence as if you were anything but a common traitor. Enchantress, I, I, I meant no disrespect, but uh, about the mercy thing, perhaps. Uh, you, you are mad no longer! <laughs> Silence! Look, 
Do you promise not to laugh? I mean, no promise of the kind! <laughs> not you! I'll try to contain myself.
four times longer than you said it would. Well, I'm glad at least your basic arithmetic skills are improving. It's nice to know all that money spent on tutors isn't completely wasted. You're very sly, you know. If only I could say the same for you. I get it. The tutors are a punishment, right? No, wait, I really get it. It's some of an archaic facts that you think are so important, even though they're really super not. Your wisdom exceeds even your beauty. Nothing exceeds my beauty. Your sarcasm is duly noted all the same. And yet, despite your attitude, one day I will be queen and you will serve me. One day? A week from Sunday, right? The coronation is on a Sunday, if I remember correctly. So, like, 11 days. 13. That's, that's if you count today. But today never counts. You always start with tomorrow, like with the next day. Still not 11. <laughs> also, this is an imagined calendar. You're becoming a queen. Well, you won't speak to me in that insolent tone unless I am queen, queen of all I survey. Well, I actually can't wait. I'll be going on my merry way to find those who need my help. You, in the meanwhile, should be focused on your people before the rebellion sees you deposed and executed publicly. I feel like you exaggerate that threat. The other day, you spent some hyperbole about how important it is to learn the past perfect tense, tax laws, or something along those lines. They want to hang you in the town square and then throw a huge party. How do you even know that anyway? You make up garbage like that all the time. It's the second line of their manifesto. Fine, I'll put on my reading glasses. If you're actually going to read it, that's kind of encouraging. Of course not. That was a joke. I don't even need reading glasses. You always fall for it, too. Besides, it's just going to be more of their boring complaints anyway. Can we do be in the past perfect this time? The manifesto is mostly written in present, but I don't see Their how- Their complaint is still so boring! Even your grammar can't put this thing on a pig! Why can't they come to you with a complex and devious love triangle? Not only I can solve! Layers of desire and material and mistaken identities? Quick, what's seven times six? I'll summon the court multiplication officer with the ability to answer. Never say that again. I can see now. Two girls in love with the same boy. He's so handsome and rugged, and maybe he even knows the answer to your stupid multiplication problem. That point is negotiable, but if it helps you get into the story, go for it. I have to choose which one he'll marry, but then I go and I take him for myself. Ha! That'll show that. Your compassion knows no bounds. You're fun to talk. You're in charge until I can move in in literally like 20 minutes. It's literally 13 days. Fine, be that way. But in the meantime, you could totally solve this problem, Smarty Pants. Give them some food. It doesn't work that way. It has to come from somewhere, and then there's that whole free market exchange of goods thing we have going on. We need to manage the flow of resources and goods for the benefit of all. Not another one of your ponderous and all connected lectures. You're an enchantress. Just turn some rocks and old socks into smoked salmon and baguette. Some capers, lemon drizzle, another problem solved. That's not what my magic is for. Of course not. It's to keep the kingdom safe or whatever. It's to punish the arrogance and cruelty of mankind. Really? Mostly. Then why haven't I been turned into a grotesque cross between a garden slug and a platypus yet? Well, you see, when you were 13, I tested you and you showed me kindness. So this isn't one of those what are you like all the time kind of situations? As long as I test well, I'm okay. But if you're a genuinely kind person, then you just happen to have a bad day. Or the opposite. I acknowledge that it's not a perfect system. <laughs> and then there's the promise you made my father, which I have honored to the letter. On that note, I enchanted another three treasures last week, and based on the scene you just made in the audience chamber, I don't think you'll last one week, let alone two, once you take the throne. How imprecise. I'm sure you meant 13 days. Do you know what? I've decided that you need to go into seclusion. Take some time to think things through before the coronation. Meditate, reflect, or just stare at the wall until it's over. I don't care. <laughs> You're funny. You're a joker. No, I really think you need to take some time to prepare yourself mentally for the burden of the crown. And if you're not here, they're not going to be able to kill you, which will really help you meet all the subclauses of the promise I made your dad. And I suppose my not dying is a key part? If I had known then what I know now, I would have negotiated quadrant. So it's probably not negotiable. <laughs> probably. Anyway, I'm sending you to Hylidae Castle. Its enchantments will provide for you all of your basic needs. Well, what about my need for social contact? Is there at least an enchantment that will let me send messages to my friends and text them instantaneously? No. <laughs> and the Parliament! Don't I need to address them and say some nice things before they'll agree and make me queen? I'll handle the Parliament. Also, that castle has been abandoned for centuries. It is insanely creepy, and you're sending me all by myself. You'll be completely safe. Safer than you would be here. That castle was protected by powerful sorcery. 
Throw in any danger, I'll go right away. So you'll have time to make popcorn and watch your magic mirror while you get eaten by a dragon or whatever? <laughs> I will intervene on your behalf, I suppose. I hate you. Peace and quiet. Do some thinking if you like it. Try to stay alive. Have I mentioned that I hate you? I'll see you at your coronation, princess. I hate you! I hate you! Enchantments will provide my basic needs! 
eBay. Well, let's see if the master bedroom has silk sheets. I always live in silk sheets, Rashida. So if you're listening, abracadabra and all that, it better be there by the time I get there. And where's my ghost butler? I'm carrying my own bag, your future queen. What's next? Do I have to bust my own table? She has to take her bedroom. Isn't she beautiful? Well, she's human. And she's female. Slaps you two girls centuries alone. What is human? And female. Red. She's not your friend. Says you. Objectively, though, she was much more attractive. She was wearing a necklace made of the bones from the men and animals she's killed with her bare hands. <laughs> oh, that was just exaggerating. It was an inner beauty. Something in the eyes. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> beautiful and also mentioned Rashida. Look, she probably got banished and not like we both ways across the road. You know, Rashida, one wrong step and you're out of the human race. Isn't she beautiful? Right, so we're not moving on anytime soon, are we? That's awkward. She took her bedroom. Oh, let's toss in there. Are you coming?
Haven't seen you in a while. Wasn't sure you made it back from that last job. Yeah. Just some crazy old witch who lived in a house made of candy and made children. Yeah, <laughs> happens more often than you think. Pretty angry parents after the job. Didn't have a lot. Felt pretty bad for them, so I waited most of the week. Nice when you get to clean up the neighborhood. What took you so long to get back? The house looked pretty delicious, and it was. Thought I'd just have a taste, but I ate way too much. Got pretty sick, actually. Parents and nurse took me in, nursed me back to health. Came like a second family to me. It's kind of touching building for a while. I go over every Sunday night for dinner. Health and story, right? Pretty standard number three. Job's a job. But hey, do you know anyone who's been out by the North Road lately? By the old ruins? Been trying to Those woods? are cursed. The wolves. They say there's something different about them. They have big eyes. Better to see you with. What? <laughs> Nothing. I know it's not exactly a tourist destination, but I have an interest in that area. Yeah. I mean, as long as you travel by day, the road should be safe enough. But I don't know why anyone would want to go to Bintron Keep. They say it's cursed. I get paid to go to a lot of enchanted places. Jamil travels that road sometimes. He's used to run a small fleet of those old ships. The ones that never sink. The ones they say were made of beaten stock timbers? That were true. Why did they all sink? I guess nothing lasts forever. A couple other merchants were in goods from the coast, but no one goes off the path. I'm not sure they can help you, but they wouldn't to ask. We deserve the right to vote! We choose our own future! We deserve the right to vote! We choose our own future! How long has this been going on? A while. It's never made to from the capital, though. Any changes can't just let it go. <laughs> These people are no threat to us. Disperse immediately or you'll be placed under arrest. We have the right to be heard! We have no such right. We don't need your queen! Let the parliament make a decision for a change. Yeah! They didn't realize things have gotten so bad. It's almost like they don't know parliament is plotting to pay for it. This is your final warning. I don't think this is available to level of corruption. The princess really that unpopular? What is the meaning of this, Captain Batar? Winifred, didn't expect to see you here. These protests to stop now. These people are speaking their mind. Do you represent them? I'm a member of the parliament. I represent everyone. Tell us that trade consortium that bought you your seat. Any other motions to lower their import tax or double your salary in the works? I was trying to stimulate the economy. That's why they voted for me. I sure as hell didn't vote for you. Are you in my electoral writing, Captain? Where do you live again? I never realized. Tell them to the streets now. But they'll all be placed under my custody. Might as well start with me. I beg your pardon? We don't need it if we need to
I would name to, you know, emphasize my point if I ever ate. So close, Father. Look, I don't know, but he will. I don't want him to stay here and look after you. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Quit your interrupting. And when he wakes up, go find him tidy the bed. If you don't know knots, tie lots. <laughs> here, I want you to have this. I don't know your stupid ideas. I'm not joining the rebellion. And if you think I don't know where you're going, I just I... believe that there's so much more than all of this. That we could be so much more, do so much more. There shouldn't be queens in the chances. Sounds like you'll be leaving a lot behind. You don't let me study anything. No, 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 do. Keep the ropes to remember you. Jingles! It took me a year to make that string instrument, and only have four strings 
that. Hello? Is anyone out there? Ah, uh, another assassin. Excellent. I knew Henry wouldn't do a bad easily. Hello? I came for my father to take his place. Are you here? Ah, uh, right, the old man. I am. He was your prisoner. He was. My name is Zeta. They call me the Beast. Oh, what an unfortunate but appropriate name. It's not what my parents call you. Oh, what's it mean? <coughs> Derek. It means ruler of the people, you know. <coughs> you see, I was once the crown prince of this kingdom, but that all got taken away. So, what? Now you take old men hostage to pass the time? He trespassed and did something, something very dear. What did he take? A single rose. It was for me. It would be. Maybe if there was an outlandish demand in your parents, we wouldn't be in this situation. Some would say it was a trivial request. Well, there's nothing trivial about horticulture. Black thoughts, powdery mildew, you think these problems just solve themselves, do you? But can it be replaced? That's not the point. Did he know what he was taking? What it meant to you? Look! Who's the prisoner here? You, not me. Fine. Take me to myself. Um, yes. I guess that would make sense. Given you're in here for a while, I thought you'd be more comfortable than the guest in the West Wing. Is that where my father was staying? Not precisely, though. Where was he? More of a tank and cold dungeon. A few stories underground. Dungeon is a bit of an overstatement. Crazy sound better than it actually is. And you think I can't serve my sentence in the same dank and cold dungeon? Why? Because I'm a woman? No. Uh, yes, I know. Mean, no. Uh, <laughs> not precisely because of your role as an well, uh, you see, this is a little bit of a curse, and embarrassing enough. I need someone to fall in who pleases you. Take me to the so-called dungeon, beast. Derek. Just call me Derek. Did my father have use of that? No, name? but not because I... The have... beast it is! Look, Take me to his cell. Look, I let that old man go. Is that not enough for you? With a chain around his neck, you had a promise to return. Yeah, when I made that decision, I totally thought I was pregnant. I mean, there was a pretty big chance I wasn't going to see him again. And, well, I've been lonely for so long. Threw a bit of a temper tantrum. Blew down the entire east wing. And I haven't done that in a while. It's pretty embarrassing. But it all is for naught, because here you are. It seems like you had a bit of an anger problem. It seems like you have your head stuck in your... I demand you to stay in the destiny of the west wing. Fine, then I will. Good. I hope you enjoy many comfortable pillows. <laughs> I will learn to load them as I cherish the freedom I lost to save my father. Join me for dinner tonight? Fine, but only so I can load you from across the table. <laughs> Sorry. It's going so well. <laughs> You're right. 
It doesn't make any difference. Allow me to retrieve your ball and don't come here. We will not! Shut up and go with it! You're embarrassing yourself! You're a prop! I was a prince! Silence. 
Oh, the four voices. Well then, how come I can't hear any of them now, Emilio? Well, thanks for the singing voice that's over. I've had it with this dilapidated ruin. Where are the rest of the capital? Ah, oh, yeah, there's still more work to be done. But I think it's best you stay here. It's safer that way. There's no front door. The castle has already repaired itself. Some of my earlier work I missed, but I never cut corners. Really? You should use the bathroom before you leave. It's a long trip, right? I'll be fine. You should head back to the capital now. I'll be there in a moment. I thought Rose didn't know where I was. You know, they must have spies everywhere. But before I go, tell me, how has your state been? Apart from the assassination attempt, Peachy. Have you been lonely? You know, I've had so much time to think about how much I hate you, I haven't done much else. So, you've seen no one? Should I have seen no one? Well, there was once a creature living in this castle, harmless, I assure you. I was just wondering what became of you. Perhaps it died of boredom, or spite. <laughs> Perhaps. Yesterday, or have you forgotten what happened? 
You mean when you went into my private study, even though I expressly forbade it? I volunteered to live in the dungeon cell, remember? Look, your nagging must have given your dad half to madness. Maybe that's why he sent you in your place. So, when I went into your study the other day, how did that make you feel? How do you think you should not have gone in there? It doesn't matter what I think. What matters is what you think. I think this. I feel angry, I feel upset, etc. I was angry, of course. That's great! But you have to calm down, deep breathing first, then express what you're feeling. Uh, you're insufferable! I know what the first step is. Try to like you. Yeah. Not sure why, unless it's your subconscious gratitude that I'm helping you with your anger problem. That's not it. Of course not. I was doing fine on my own. Does that mean I'm free to go? No, I, um, I, uh, have so many questions about the outside. What about my questions? You said you weren't always like that. It was a curse, okay? You wouldn't understand. Do you understand it? Of course I understand it. I'm the one who's cursed. Well, if you understand it, I'm sure it can't be all that complicated. <laughs> I mean, if you just explain it That's to it. me. That's it! Dinner's tent. Eat by yourself. Beast! Beast, where are you going? Beast, I think this helpful book. Beast, I say this. Beast! Beast! Like the creature, but not in my bedroom. Thank you very much. 
This is our adventure! Ignore him. Me. Us. You can tell me what's bothering you. Tell us! And I should tell you for your insolence. And what if I were queen, it would amuse me, I expect. Good that you're not then. I mean men with disrespect. I'm truly a great queen. I know! I would be! What have been? The only job we commission of perfect. You're mad and all. We are not mad! We probably are, though. We are not mad! We just have minor neuroses because of the folk in the bathroom! We are not mad! It doesn't matter anyway. It turns out I'm not going to become queen. Which begs the question, why am I still running this rat as a hellhole? There was a chance to get rid of the rats! Who well, wasn't very good at this job, now was it? You should have negotiated for better enchantments! Well, we would have, but it's more or less not negotiated! Shut up! Both of you! How dare you! We must be going by a reptile. I already told you I'm not in the fear nonsense. We are an amphibian of some kind. Oh, I'm sure she had explained exactly what that means during one of her boring lectures. I'm sorry, Drop. I'm just not in the mood. Just go, please. Well, why aren't you going to become queen again? Parliament refused to support me. I guess I just wasn't popular enough. Since when do they have that kind of power? The constitutional monarchy. There are some laws that even kings and queens can't break. Interesting. They learned that from Rashida. Grammar, astrology, politics. Nice one, Enchantress, tricking me into learning things. Well, if you're not going to become queen, then who is? The Enchantress has proposed a new <coughs> law an end to kings and queens. Oh, God. They're going to let people rule? A democracy? <laughs> Does that mean we have to consider Batar's opinion now? Is the court by Linus? Although he was surprisingly optimistic, then he got turned to a chair. Then he was surprisingly comfortable. Not a democracy as such, no. Enchantress is going to become empress for all eternity, and all existing laws will be cancelled. That's awful! I know! It's a real bummer! I was really looking forward to becoming queen, too. I was thinking of my upgrade that enchantment that's supposed to clean your bathroom with gift for all the time your mind is going to be why are you in the back? It's the loss for us all. Especially you. Why are we getting your ball back? Does that make you feel better? Mean the one you threw down the well? We threw. I don't care about the old wall. Has she already ascended to the throne? She can't just do that. Parliament has to vote on her new law first, and it has to win a majority of those votes. She can't just use her powers for whatever she wants. It has to be within the bounds of the law. And once she becomes an empress and cancels all existing laws, she'll be able to use her power for literally whatever she wants. Figuratively, she doesn't have the power to, uh, to do whatever she wants unless she just has a terrible imagination. Silence! This <laughs> does not sound good. Unless Captain Rashida, and that is sounds pretty awesome! Agreed. We should obviously try to stop her. Agreed again. But how? We're stuck in this glorified outhouse with no servants, no weapons, no horses, none of that! I don't suppose you have an absentee fairy godmother? I wish. That would solve so many problems instantly. <coughs> well, let's stop her the same way she stopped you. Send her here? Take away all her favorite clothes? Take away her friends? Give her a mad frog as a companion? Parliament didn't support you. You're not going to support her either. You're insane. Well, obviously. But of course they will. She'll use her powers to persuade them. Fine. Then we'll sneak into the castle and assassinate her. Oh, they didn't call me Iron Henry the Spy Master for nothing. They never called us that. Well, they will now. I thought they called you loathsome frog. Oh, that's reserved for you. I don't like the idea of killing her. There must be something else we can do. We get right to kill her. For a price. Friends and family discount. Hood is not your friend. Something else.
But then, in comes a beautiful girl, which is technically what I need to break the curse. But nothing happens there. How do you make someone fall in love with you anyways? I hate you too, Rashida! My, what we hear to have. Better to hear me with? I knew Henry wouldn't give a bad use of me. They're about prettier than the last session. Also, highly more skilled, likely better educated, but you chose to be my physical attractiveness. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't really know anything else about you. And considering the last, last assassin with his eyes open, he was really easy on the loose. Kind of fell off the balcony and shattered into pieces. You all find me as easy to defeat. <laughs> Don't worry, there's a good stand! Let them go, please! No, there's just more trespassers. 
hot water here. Why are you here then? I joined the rebellion. Someone had to take the place. It's worse than you can imagine out there. The enchantress has gone inside and made herself an empress. We had to get you back. Jiggles. <laughs> I digress. Everyone deserves a 
fair trial. Thank you, Ms. Wyatt. Your objection is overruled. Proceed, Captain. Thank you. Madam Winifred was the clear leader and architect of the riot in question, and she obviously supports the rebellion. You don't know that. This is ridiculous. Your evidence is highly <laughs> substantial. You haven't even placed her at the scene. Captain Guitar. Was Madame Winifred present at the riot three nights ago? She sure was. And would you say she was leading it? It sure seemed that way. Objection! He's leading the witness! Overruled. In your opinion, Captain, tell the court if you believe that Winifred was plotting against the crown. Well, I mean, she was saying along the lines of, we don't need any queen, we demand to be heard because our own future, so yes, I think she was. Objection! That testimony is very incriminating! Overruled. <laughs> My opinion, Your Honor, she was behind the whole thing. Interesting. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Captain? Well, yes. There's just no way of knowing she was acting alone. Objection! There are a hundred people at that rally at least. Sustain. Oh, tonight's contained in the objection. <coughs> Let me refrain. What did you mean when you said that? Well, what I meant was, maybe there's someone else in Parliament working with her. Maybe this thing is bigger than just one crazy representative. Objection! Speculation! Overruled. So you're saying there could be other traitors in Parliament? Well, yes. We take our whole party, for instance, probably all traitors. No one trusts the Ottoman Marine Party. Somewhere in the center. They, they can't make up their own minds. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. I believe the prosecution rests. I agree. That was very compelling. We prepared to render our murder. What about the defense? Should we get a chance to present our evidence? When a fight, you were found guilty of treason against the Crown. You may have to save yourself. We don't need a new queen. We choose our right. own. Oh, right. right.
Ten five for a visit. Doubt. You always seem to have an objective. If you've come here to save me, it's too late. It's never gonna work out. That's true. But that doesn't mean I didn't miss you. Ha! Thanks for the pity. I get it. I'm a horrible beast. Of course. Did you see the new key play signs I put outside? Maybe that way future travelers would leave me alone to stew in my self-pity and hatred. And go prize winning roses. In peace. It's great that you're more in touch with your emotions, but no one's going to love you if you can't love yourself. Yeah, all thanks to you. Think Rapunzel's brave you showed up. I say yes. I feel like you've done a great job. Please go away. It's just one tiny thing. Ah, take the court by limbs if you want. He's the most comfortable chair in the castle. And if you ever learn to reverse the spell, you can put him to work in the garters. I want your help to take down Rashida. Nothing would make me happy. I feel like she's the cause of my current condition. Well, mainly because she is. Other than killing the frog, nothing would give me greater joy. You used to live in Satara Castle. Yes. In fact, as being the crown prince of this kingdom, you can even say it's my castle. Is there a way in? Yes. There's a drawbridge, 11 doors to the main keep. Almost a hundred windows. You want the numbers for siege. Is there a secret entrance? <laughs> yes, it um, leads to my bedroom. <laughs> you show us the way? If it'll help take down the Rashida, I'll do it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not looking at it. Derek, it means a lot to us. Oh! <laughs> 
contract. Let the frog go. Or you might have to walk. You didn't come all this way to kill someone. That's exactly why we came here. For that explicit purpose. Okay, true. But we came from Rashida. We didn't even know you'd be here. We're trying to stop the chain, too. Derek, please. <sighs> Thanks. 
spirits? Not every day the kingdom gets a new empress. Not every day, no. It seems it's your conscience taking. It's surprising that you're taking it too. So well. I think you'll find there's more of the enchantress than meets the eye. And the princess. Found enchantress. This is quite a lavish gathering. It was the princess's suggestion to mark the occasion. Some would say it's premature. You have nothing around it. Have you ever wondered why it's not been coronated? No. We well, support would make all the difference. Nearly half of the representatives already back my friend. And what about when friend? What you did for her was on speak. And yet, here we are, speaking about it. Oh, I haven't been paid attention. I'm terribly sorry. It's so clumsy of me. You're welcome. I mean, it's okay. I'm just mingling. You know, walking around like I belong here like we all do. Like I said, one does have a category three party. Your first time at the castle, then? First time today, yes. All the other times, then. What's the other, you know? I'm sadly leader of the purple party. I'm not sure how to school that. <laughs> I wrote no laws act, Yoshi. Whenever I chose to leave that protest that riots in the streets to the capital, are members of your parliament above the law? You know that we're not. Not a care in the world. I love her like my own daughter. I truly do. I love all the people of this kingdom. Help me save them. We've heard promises like these from many kings over many years. That's a good question. I suppose you could say it comes from the early days of the world. Our messages were so similar to that. Some of them were bright colors, but the people can tell us it worked. Did it work? Oh, very well. It really helped with the branding. And of course, the campers are personally tangible to focus on it. Oh, you think just because I'm the most beautiful woman in the kingdom? Probably try King Amaria even, but I can't handle 
Say it again, shall we? I was hoping. Oh, brother, what have you done? Well, you couldn't have killed you. Who leader are you? You find her. She's been dead for a hundred years. I know. It's too late. Once she comes to Empress, her full power will be unleashed. Just what you want the snow to ash! Lucky you won't be there to see it. I would 
little bit better, Jamie, just so you know. That's why they called me the spy master. Thank you for calling that! What? Thank you for saving my life. Of course. What are those for? Farewell, Tommy. Thank you. 